What's up YouTube? It's your girl Miami Triple X and on today's video I will be showing you guys how I turned this blonde 613 Amazon wig into this beautiful gorgeous aqua mermaid ombre style wig. Now if y'all already haven't be sure to subscribe, comment, and if y'all already know somebody who's gonna like this video make sure y'all give them a share. Catch a broke bitch throwing that shade with the fire in the face now I caught a bitch sunny. Nah these hoes ain't getting no money my bitches come through. To start off, I'll be showing you guys all of the products that I did use to achieve this look. So make sure you guys give that link in the description a great look to achieve the same look that I did. Alright y'all, so I'm going to give you guys a quick wig review because I also wanted to make sure I added that in this video. I had ordered a blonde 613 wig off of Amazon and this is my first time ordering from this company but I don't think I will order it again just because of the fact that it wasn't true to length. I ordered a 22 inch and it turned out to be like an 18 to 20 inch in reality. But besides that the hairline was nice. Um, if you want the wig to look more realistic like a wig or like really your hair please be sure to pluck it um it came with four clips and it also came with two straps so i actually do enjoy that because you could use the straps to get your wig to be more tighter just for a better grip if you you know are ever interested in that the wig itself did shed but it kind of did get tangled within a week of wearing it all right, now to actually start off this process, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have some clips to actually separate the hair into six sections. That's what I think I separated it in, but it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be the same color. I just wanted to make sure that I really touched up the roots since I was making the roots a different color from the actual hair itself. Now I just started off with the azul dye and I just touched up the roots. Like honestly, if you guys see what I'm doing, it's gonna be real easy to achieve this look, really. And here's what I mean by you're gonna wanna make sure you get all the roots so you have to separate the hair just because you don't want any blind parts showing if it's gonna be a darker color, you don't want any light colors popping up. And yeah, just take your time with it and it'll be easy, trust me. Trust the process, y'all. I also wanted to inform you guys that in the link in the description below, I will be adding most of my other hair related videos. So make sure y'all give that a good look if you are interested in seeing any other look that I had did. that I got done with the first section roots I just started to apply the lime green to the hair and I also forgot to show you guys the part where I went over it with cyan but obviously I did azul cyan and then the lime green you're gonna take your comb just so you can have a nice ombre look to it you don't want the colors to be off so you're gonna want to make sure all the colors are blended correctly and that's what that comb is going to do so make sure y'all have a comb with y'all it's definitely gonna help don't try to use the brush use the comb okay trust me blending it you're going to want to put some aluminum foil on it and just start off with the other sections
so here is the final look once i got done applying all of the dye to all of the sections and now i'm just going to wash it and give it a good condition and make sure you guys check out that link in the description below if you guys are interested in all of the products that i did use So as you're washing the hair, you're just going to want to make sure that you go through it, take your time, and just, you know, treat it as you will with your normal hair. But I do want to add to the fact that I was doing this wig for my 22nd birthday, and with the results, which y'all will see soon, I was really happy with how it all turned out and everything, and I was really actually proud of myself. So make sure y'all give this video a good big thumbs up comment to see if you will want to see me in any other color or if you got any other recommendations for me or just let me know something that I could definitely work on you know everything is a trial and error and I do love playing in color so just let me know also make sure y'all subscribe if you already haven't Okay, so I did let the wig air dry and here was the final results with that. So I was just like, I didn't quite like it just because it was too bright. I wanted it to be more darker. So I did go over the wig just from the fading part where it's like the cyan to the lime green with the emerald green. And then here's what I had got. So if you guys like that look, you could just do that or you could apply the emerald to get that look. And here's the outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you already haven't. And make sure y'all comment what color I should do next. All right, y'all. Thank you. Catch a broke bitch doing that shade with the fire in the face. Now I caught a bitch, sunny. Nah, these souls ain't getting no money. My bitches come through.